So this is the half kneeling drill, um, and it's kind of like a, a way to take the ankle out of the equation with balance and enable you to try and build abdominal and hip stability together. So it would be like if I'm balancing on my right leg like this, it's the same movement except I'm taking the ankle out of it and I'm balancing just like this. And what we want is a little bit of a hip hitch. That should feel like it just goes there automatically, but it doesn't. Maybe you're sagging into this hip. You can check the belt line as a way to check. So this left part of the belt is a bit higher for me. What it means is that the tummy muscles on this left side are shorter and the ones on the right side are a bit longer. I'm trying to keep, if I had a zipper or a line of buttons, I'm trying to keep this pretty straight along with my chin and nose. And as I lift, this left leg should feel like it can just come up without too much deviation. At the same time, I'm making sure forward and back, as I lift, I'm not excessively bending back, or bending forward, or maybe the head starts getting into some funny positions. Try to keep the hands relaxed, you might start to find some funny finger things start to happen as you try and create stability somewhere else. Tie in a breath as you breathe out, the tummy muscles tighten as they're breathing out muscles. So if you breathe in and at the same time as creating tension and lifting, you breathe out, you should feel more stable. So it might look like this. And you lift. And it should start to feel like all the weights through this leg and you can just lift away. This isn't losing the stability, you're not sagging, you're not falling to the side. As it gets easier, you can start to put a weight into your hand here. Kettlebells are really nice because you can anchor them and let the weight rest right here and that weight's going to try and pull me this way so that these tummy muscles have to work harder to keep me stable. If you find that the hip is what's continuing to give out, we need maybe say these hip muscles to be better at being shorter. So if I have a weight pulling me this way, then these guys have to work harder to keep me upright. So it depends on where you're losing it. If you're here and you go like this, maybe you need a weight in this hand. If you're here and you go like this, maybe you need a weight in this hand. And light weights to start, maybe a couple kilos, and then just lifting and trying to be nice and stable. See how that goes and then progress to like single leg stance on your foot.